We've been looking at what we think are going to be the key bikes for 2018, and this is one of them. It's the Trek Imonda SLR Project One Disc. When it comes to getting to the top of a hill as fast as possible, two things matter. Weight and stiffness. The Imonda is Trek's climbing bike. It sits alongside the Damane, which is their endurance bike, the ones you'd see in the classics, and the Madone, which is their aero bike, and that's the one you're most likely to see in the Tour de France. The Amonda family is extensive. It starts with a kid's bike and goes all the way up to this Project One bike. So you've got everything from aluminium frames, you've got the SL frame set, which is slightly heavier, and then the SLR. The SLR disc frame set comes in at 665 grams for a 56 centimeter, and that's only 25 grams heavier than the rim brake version. So there's very little penalty for having the better brakes. The fork is 350 grams, so again, is incredibly lightweight. And these things help propel the bike to the top of the hill as fast as possible. Trek are one of the biggest bike companies in the world, and so they have a lot of money to put into research and development. The Amonda, they say, took over 10,000 iterations on computer modeling before they started the physical build of the bike. Trek's high-end bikes and kit are often made in their Wisconsin factory over in the US. Trek made this particular one, though, in Taiwan, and that's because they say that their facilities there have the highest level of carbon engineering possible. This means that they can get the layup exactly right in order to build one of the lightest disc frames available. If you exclude the Shimano drivetrain and brakes, everything on this bike is made by Trek or Bontrager, their in-house component brand. Some people may see this as a way of cutting costs. What it means for Trek is that they can control the quality of every component that goes onto the bike. In our eyes, Bontrager kit is actually really good stuff. The finishing kit, the wheels, the tyres all perform incredibly well, and we'd have them on a bike which wasn't even a Trek. Trek's high-end Project One customization programme means that you can decide exactly what goes onto the bike and that goes as far as the drivetrain, the wheels, the tyres, and even the colour of the frame. When it comes to the Monda SLR, you also get the chance to ride exactly the same frame as the Pros. The majority of Trek's high-end road bikes are actually their H2 system, and this is slightly taller, slightly shorter, we're talking little amounts, but with the Project One system, you get to choose the H1 frame, and this is the most aggressive frame that the Pros actually ride. Our senior road bike tester, Warren Roster, said that this bike feels smoothly firm, and that really embodies the feel of the bike. You can really dance on those pedals up the hill as the weight is so low, but with 28C tyres, it's also incredibly comfortable. Trek have engineered a little bit extra fore and aft flex in that fork, and combined with the bigger volume tyres, it doesn't feel in any way uncomfortable. There's plenty of grip on the corners when you're descending, so it's also a confident bike. If you spend a lot of time in the mountains and you want to get to the top as fast as humanly possible, then the Trek Monda SLR Project One Disc could be your next bike, if you've got deep enough pockets. If not, the Monda range is expansive and there's one for every pocket. And that's why we think this is one of the key bikes for 2018.